Hey guys, Dan Slitter Magic here. Yeah, still sick, working from home today, feeling like crap. But you know what? I had to make a video on this. This is unbelievable. You would think that they'd be attempting to get some company goodwill back after the Magic 30 fiasco. You would be wrong. They are completely unplugged from the community and at this point clearly just don't give a crap. If anybody has numbers of people leaving the company left and right, I'd love to see it. Because that's gotta either be happening right now or about to start. I mean, nobody's gonna tolerate this. Anyway, check this out. This one's blown up on Reddit. So shout out to Mr. Yuppie85 for posting this. Although he does appear to be British, which you, you can't just go throwing around the Y word, okay? That's our word, especially with the hard eye. Over in the uh, English United Kingdom of Avalon, or whatever the hell they call it at this point. Oh yeah, Brexit Central. Um, they have given people a delightfully generous holiday discount of 98 pence. That's right, 98 p. Uh, cheers, mate. Cheers. I actually sound more British when I'm sick. Probably because everybody there is sick of living there. But now, wait a minute. Why did it drop from 89.97 to 88.99? Okay, I'm acting like Sherlock Holmes here. You already see it. It's the biggest damn thing on the page. Shipping is free on orders over 89 pounds, which this is one cent short of. So they lowered the price by almost a pound. Just a quid, mate. To make you spend more on shipping if you don't buy two of something. But wait, it gets worse from this absolute dick move. Oh, he's British. Richard Move. Have you seen this promo? December 5th to January 6th, $200 minimum purchase to activate promotion. Spend $200 on the December Super Drop and receive a promo card, The Scarab God by Barely Human. And yes, he's a DJ, I guess. I still hate him, but that's hilarious. And the art's cool, but you know what's not cool? Adding five products for the standard $39.99 to your cart results in $199.95, five cents short. See, on the other side of the pond, that's what we in America call bullshit. So on top of it, Scarab God was one of the worst mistakes ever made in the history of the game. And it's one of the most egregious times of them not doing anything about the state of the meta and just waiting for rotation. Because it was all Scarab God, Mono Green, and Mono Red. And that's all you could play. You played anything else, you didn't stand a chance in hell. And they actually came out and told people, we're just going to wait on banning Chain Whirler. And pretend like Scarab God's not a problem. Okay, that second part was implied. They didn't actually say it. Because rotation's coming. And I made a whole video saying, are you actually telling us, you don't have to read between the lines too much, not to play Magic for six weeks? You can't be bothered to fix it. So we should just avoid Standard Constructed. Well, how'd that work out now that everybody's avoiding Standard Constructed for the third year in a row? Oopsies. Quit printing overpowered crap and get out the bad hammer, you pansies. So, are people still bad, or are they over Magic 30? Let's check the estimated thumbs down. Oh, Secret Lair just add milk, which was an absolute cringe-a-thon, by the way. That video is terrible. Hell, the font is terrible. Uh, 2,300 thumbs down to 1,000 thumbs up. And all I'm going to say is they've been accused of uh, sort of botting views with, like, that remote viewer thing on game wikis. I don't know if accuse is even the right term. I mean, people, like, took screenshots of it. But anyway potentially artificially inflating, purposely or otherwise, their view count on Twitch, and possibly YouTube. So if you're wondering who the hell would give this a thousand thumbs up, the answer is probably not real people. Especially when you compare it to uh, the December Super Drop uh, video from Weekly MTG, where Blake dead inside Rasmussen gets dragged out again to try to justify half this crap. They should hire him as Biden's personal press secretary at this point. 244 thumbs up to 1.7 thousand estimated thumbs down. Ooh. Now we've got Blake even more dead inside uh, Rasmussen out for another weekly MTG. This one actually the full length. And uh, yeah, Dominary Remaster previews. Um, 267 up to 455 down. I, it's still a bad ratio. It's not as bad, but you know, give it some time. Just saying. The people who really hate this crap do not, you know, immediately click on it to watch it. You know what I mean? And then if we go back a little further, it's the Jumpstart 2022 previews. Oh boy, 165 up, 1.4 thousand estimated down. Ouch. 
I hope heads roll at Hasbro. This is the point where you don't even care about your job anymore because you won't have one if this continues. You go to the 1,000-year-old members of the board that are all buddy-buddy and family members with each other, allegedly, at Hasbro, and tell them, we are done with your strategy because look what it did. This is going to take us years to come back from. We are doing this our way. And then rotate standard immediately, ban 30 cards. But nobody there has a spine. But if there's no accountability within Watsi, what the hell do you think there's going to be inside of Hasbro? It's even worse. They're too busy trying to sell Barbies to boys and G.I. Joes to girls. I wish I was kidding. Get well, go broke, bitches. Oh, I had another one. Uh, the Magic 30 cosplay contest, which was actually very popular. Except it got 46 upvotes and 354 downvotes. Ouch. So yes, every time Watsi sticks their head out to do everything, Anything on social media, make an announcement, make a post, create a video. It's like asking your girlfriend if she's still mad. The answer is yes, and the other answer is you probably shouldn't have asked. And just like that scenario, you're going to keep hearing about it for the next 10 years. Thank God my ex blocked me on Facebook. Oh, that was back in high school. By the way, embarrassingly low numbers of views on that video. What is wrong with you people? Come on. Don't you like delicious drama and self-deprecating stories that are 100% true, I assure you? I feel like I say that and it sounds like sarcastic. No, like it is 100% true. Go look for the video called My Entire Disastrous Dating History Plus Face Reveal. Uh, it has 5,000 views. It's like my lowest viewed video of the week. What the hell, people? That's about all that's noteworthy going on in the magic world. Um, probably won't even cover the second day of the spoilers because it, it would be a three-hour video and nobody cares. I'll just wait for the next spoilers to start. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.